me see, uh, just to make sure I'm on point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to that and then we go, we go back into Romans. Lord willing. So anyway, this is a <clears throat> Jerem Jeremiah. Yeah, you know what? Verse Jeremiah chapter five, verse twenty-five. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Right, from you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which make up the house of Israel. Your very sins and iniquities have withheld good things from you. That's why we, the very reason why we were brought into Babylon. You understand? because of our sins and iniquities. Verse 26, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares. They set a trap, they catch men. So Heavenly Father say among his people are found wicked men. So majority, two thirds that is to be exact, of you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans got to be put to death. Got to. All right, so. Back to Romans and then uh, These people think the Heavenly Father is something to play with, you understand? They don't know that the Heavenly Father was known as Alashaja in the ancient world, man, back in the ancient days, man. Terrible demon-like power. Also, as uh, Exodus 15 and 3, the, yeah, Exodus 15 and 3 states, the Most High is a man of war, man. He don't play that shit. people had lost all knowledge. Yeah, how about Hashem Yahushua did a number on us when he brought us in here to Babylon and put us under this devil? Hey, what's, what's, up, what's up, man? Preach, bro. What you know about this? I know you preaching something up, bro. Well, I gotta keep going. I'm all right, well, I'm trying to see where your head at, man. I just can't be giving up that willy-nilly. Yeah, if you about this word, you stick around and learn something. You know, you don't know what, what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm out here talking about killing men, women, and children. Jake ain't down with that. You know what I'm saying? This ain't your this ain't your great grandmama's or your or your grandmama's religion. This ain't that good old time religion right here, man. Jake don't, you know, Jake don't know what it is. They don't know what it's about. Anyway, uh, said in great dignity, man. I ain't even really finished that. I ain't even, I ain't even bringing all of that out. Let me, let me go back and finish that, man. It's real out here on the battlefield, you know. America's gonna be destroyed. Enjoy your little time while you have it left. So this is uh, back to, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, 
Verse 6, folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. So the scripture is making it plain. I have seen servants upon horses. So when I ask the question, how have the bases of men been set up to rule over all nations? It can only be by the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Then he pushes to you. The earth was created by a big bang. Heavenly Father don't exist. And he done, he done suckered a lot of you Israelites into believing that. A lot of you fell for that madness of a big bang. Of, of, of um, you even have some Hebrew Israelites that now are, are atheists. A lot of you done fell for atheism. You know, and that's a sin and a shame. Anyway, again, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses. Those servants are you so-called white people. Now y'all are, are upon horses, meaning in a position of rulership, in a position of power. Why? Because the Heavenly Father granted you that. He forged you that power. Now you done got beside yourself and think that you are almighty. You start smelling yourself and believing your own bullshit. Yeah, you got down white people. Y'all start believing your own lies. But y'all are servants upon horses. And it says, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Those princes are the children of Israel. Now we have been made to serve you goddamn white people. And logically, it makes no sense whatsoever. But spiritually, we know what it is. Spiritually, we know why. You understand? Because of our iniquities, good things were withholding from us. So you see how these scriptures come together, how they fit? Even though I didn't mean to precept, it, it, it precepts. It precepts itself, long as you stand in the spirit. That's why I hear Great Millstone, to quote the chief apostle to heart, America's gonna be destroyed real soon by thermonuclear fire. World War III is coming and all this is gonna be destroyed. And you so-called white people going into slavery. If you are the nation of Edom. Because as the Bible said, he that leadeth into, no, no pictures please. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And your people led our people into captivity. So in turn, y'all gonna be led into captivity. So just spread the word. Oh, I read the word every day. S spread the word. You, you read it, but you don't understand it. I'm giving you the understanding. You, you children of Edom, because y'all the children of Edom, the descendants of Esau. Have you read about Jacob and Esau? You bet your butt I have. You're okay. my daughter's best friend. I mean, that's fine. We're best friends. The I'm telling say, you, we don't got Don't anybody. hand join in hand. We're hey, in love, you, man. You're not going to go unpunished. I mean, you better hope you're not of the nation of, of Edom. That's the only thing I can tell you. All Edom, you all Edom is going into captivity. I don't, I don't give a damn how you take it. All Edomites are going into captivity. All right, so as I was saying, we call blending them scriptures, man, to quote chief apostle to heart. Through the spirit and grace of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And she gonna show me a picture on her phone, uh, I guess her granddaughter or, or whoever with a black child. That's not going. That shit ain't, 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 ain't gonna uh, exempt you from judgment. And, and that's, that's, their, that's their biggest plea. I got black friends. I don't give a damn. That ain't gonna exempt you from the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because a lot of you, truth be told, 
a lot of you, out of guilt, will go and befriend Jake's. A lot of you out of guilt will, will just have a, a, a token Negro friend. Just because you know that argument is gonna come up down the road somewhere, well, you already got your, your uh, alibi in the pocket. Well, this is me and my best friend. We was out at uh, goddamn Disney World having the time of our lives. Well, I don't give a damn. That's not going to exempt you from judgment. Because these white people are snakes, they're crooked, and they can't be trusted as far as you can see them. Or rather, as far as you can throw them. They are not to be trusted. What the? So, and especially the white woman, man. You think, you think this white boy is something else? This white woman ain't, ain't no fucking joke. They all wicked, the whole lot of them. Yeah, you wicked, boy, and you going into captivity. I don't give a damn you got a black woman. That black woman ain't gonna save you. See, they all got their token black friend. All of them. That's fine. That's fine. What the fuck you smoking? That white boy gonna get you put to death. That white boy gonna get you put to death. Yeah. You kiss the crack of my ass what you can do. Take up for your white boy. Take up for your white boy. They won't take up for you Negroes like that. But they'll take up for this white boy. They'll go to bat for this goddamn devil. It's what we've been talking about. You know, these crackers going into captivity, I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. Heavenly Father's gonna deal with these crackers for all the atrocities that they've committed. Not now one of them gonna escape. I don't care how loud the black woman yell. Boy, they love this devil. Boy, they, they go to bat for the Esau, for these Edomites. Shit. <laughs> Can't do it out. Ugly ass bitch. And again, like I say, that's, that's that psychosis, man. They've inherited their captors' psychosis. That is, that is Willie, uh, not, not Willie Lynch, but, uh, ah, it was right at the tip of my tongue, but that's the, uh, that syndrome, man, now I, I didn't forget the name, but Willie Lynch is in full effect, man. All people love their captains, you know? All people love their captains. The Stockholm Syndrome. That's Stockholm Syndrome at its best. Like I said, they ain't gonna take up for your black ass like that. Oh, but they'll, they'll fight tooth and nail for this cracker though. They'll fight tooth and nail for these Edomites. Now you see how, you know, People been coming through here all day, all day long, man. People been coming through here. And the only one open her goddamn mouth to speak against the truth is a goddamn black woman. Showing you where, they, where, where their heart is. You know? Showing you where their heart is. Their heart is not with you, Howard Bosch, Shimmy Howard Shy, or with their nation. Their heart is with Babylon. That heart is with the white boy. And he saw he wasn't even bothered. Cause he know what it is. So why, why should it worry the black woman? And I ain't even speaking to her, nor was I speaking about her. And if the white boy didn't have an issue with it, why was she taking up his cause? Why did she have such an issue with it? If he, if he could go on down the street and mind his business, then why couldn't she? You see what I'm saying? 
That's, that's the spirit illustrating what I've been saying, man. Our people have adopted this white boy's pathologies. That's why you want to be homosexuals, you want to be adulterers, you want to be pedophiles. Because you have adopted this white boy's pathologies. Everything he pushed, now you a part of. And all people out here bug out of their mind. Bug out beyond repair. That's why the only relief, the only correction, is an intercontinental ballistic missile. Is thermonuclear fight. And, and boy, is it coming. It is coming, and I can't wait. The most high gonna get it in. Well, I believe, hey, you bet your you bet your bottom dollar. The most high about to get it in. So see, hey, hey that, that kind of shit, you that's to be expected. From a black woman walking with an Edomite, 2018, that's to be expected. You done forgot how he lynched and hung your ass, your ancestors back in the day? You done forgot or you want to forgive? Ain't shit changed. You think that all of a sudden now, they want to accept and live with you. You think all of a sudden now, they got all this love for you. All that hatred and animosity just somehow vanished into thin air. To the point where now, we can all just get along. I don't see nobody get, I don't see, I, I see nothing but division, got love for hatred. Brother. You gotta have love for this word. You got love for the word? Yeah. I ain't nothing, I'm just a messenger, a vessel for this truth to come through. Don't love me, love you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Love his word. Love me for the fact that I'm bringing out his word. You know what I'm saying? I could be here today and gone tomorrow, but this word is gonna be here. You know, this ain't about no occult of personality. This is about the uplifting the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Giving all glory, praise, and honor unto him. The one true and only living creator. Everything else is, is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is nothing. Some drama going down around here, man. Drama going on around here. Some drama going on around here. But they ain't seen no drama until Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? They done forgot. This world has forgot. But that's all the divine plan of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's the divine will. He wanted the world to forget. And he put this devil in power and built him up to the status where he is for him to be looked at as a god. So when the Most High come through and eradicate this kingdom and you Edomites with it, it's gonna be not a shadow of a doubt who the Heavenly Father is. You white people are finished, man. Y'all are done. This is a done deal for Esau, man. So this is uh, back again, and I'm gonna just go through it from the top because it's been so long, uh, it ain't been, you know, we didn't hit so many topics since then. So I'm gonna go back into why I brought this scripture out in the first place, and then I'm gonna uh, read it again from the top. But the reason why I was going into this is again when I said that as a Hebrew Israelite, you have nothing to fear except not doing the will of the Heavenly Father. That should be the only thing you fear in these last days. Not being in obedience to the will of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Him making you a bug out. Like this black bitch walked through here, want to take up for Esau. 
and we, we, when I started out, 